One explanation for the tradition of Christmas stockings stretches back hundreds of years to St. Nicholas, who was born in what is now present-day Turkey. He inherited a large sum of money but devoted his life to helping others and eventually became a bishop. According to the story, St. Nicholas learned of a poor man who wasn't able to find suitors for his three daughters because he didn't have money for a dowry. St. Nicholas traveled to the house and tossed three sacks of gold down the chimney for each of the dowries. The gold happened to land in each of the girls' stockings, which were hanging by the fire to dry. The oranges we receive today are a symbol of the gold that was left in the stockings. Hello there! Welcome to my channel. My name is Faith Dodger and I'm literally the girl next door. Welcome to my version of Vlogmas and we're on to day four. Continuing with stocking fillers. Yesterday we worked on a masculine stocking filler. Today we're working on a feminine one. It is common belief that stocking fillers are for children, but I want to debunk that theory. So if you are interested, in what this video has to offer, watch to the end. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. So I must admit, it was very easy to buy feminine stocking fillers. I had a bit of trouble for the masculine one, but I think I did my best. Guys, can you score me out of 10? How did I do yesterday? So if you haven't watched yesterday's vlog, please check it out. The thumbnail looks like this. If you watch that, it will give you an idea of what is going on right here. Okay, so let's get started. So yesterday I decided to use this stocking. So that's what I'm going to do today and just make all things equal. But it does look like I might have bought too much for the feminine stocking filler. Okay, if you remember from yesterday, I explained why an orange is essential. It will help us to shape the stocking to make it have a regular look, similar to that of a regular boot. Okay, okay. So like in yesterday's video, we've got our mug. It's got a different picture to it. It's not Santa this time, it's a reindeer. And it's got hot chocolate. It's very essential this time of the year as it's winter. And it's got a marshmallow. Hot chocolate and marshmallow go well together. Okay, so that go goes in to my stocking. just like yesterday. Some of the gifts here are similar to the gifts I had yesterday. Okay, um, another similar thing is a manicure set. I had a, ma a muscular one, masculine one yesterday and today I've got a feminine one. I don't know, it seems like there's less in this one. If you watched yesterday's, what do you think? I think the masculine one was more equipped. I don't know, I think it's kind of unfair, but oh well. There we go. Okay. Then I've got a pedicure set. This is so nice. It's even got these foam pads that separate the toes. Very handy when you're applying nail polish. We've got a 2022 pocket diary. Then we've got hand lotion. Now this is an essential in any woman's bag. It's Heathcote and Ivory. 
it's a good brand okay so like i was saying yesterday uh we're going to have to open some of these packages because they take up a lot of space so i have got a pair of scissors over there so they might just come in handy let me just keep it close uh yeah we might just need to cut out some things here um i've got lip gloss here there are three types mint candy lip balm coconut and passion fruit they're very fancy looking okay so i'm going to have to open this i'm afraid the packaging is really lovely but it can't be helped okay yeah this was going to take up a lot of space so let me put that aside okay Ah, this looks like a cherry and lips this is so cute it's really really cute I like it okay so that goes in and I'm going to do the same with um, Heathcote and Ivory hand lotions can't afford to squeeze them all in Oh, they're so cute. They're really fancy looking. I'll show you in a moment. Aren't they lovely? They're so fancy looking. Okay. So what I'm doing here is bargaining with the space. Okay. Right. Okay, I've also got hand sanitizer like from yesterday these are strange times we're living in so this is an essential so it has to be part of the stocking same as the anti-back wet wipes very handy indeed so i'm going to slot that in okay right i have a, a very fancy um it's not a diary it's a notebook but um it's got it's made of recycled paper and then it's got woven material it came all the way from india it's so pretty and for somebody who's very artsy they would appreciate it i i like it it's really fancy looking and i like the pink i don't know if this is going to fit in here but let's see let's see how that is going to work out okay so i've just slotted that in and then we've got pocket tissues that's an essential for any woman's handbag so here it goes and then one nice thing that i need to ensure it fits before i add anything else is a candle a scented candle and it's no ordinary scented candle it's a festive one frankincense and myrrh it even smells good it smells so festive. Okay. So I might need to take out the lip balm and just sort of like negotiate space for it. Okay. And then let's put our hand wipes back in. Okay. Like I said before, you have to squeeze the goods in by all means just it's the battle to try and fit in everything as much as possible okay so here we've got soap it's grace lily there's magnolia rose and lavender this is so lovely i don't know if this is going to fit but it would pay me to cut this out honestly this, this is not, just not nice. This is not good. Let's see if I can replace this. Okay. I think I've managed to negotiate a bit of space. But wait, there's more. 
I've got Dead Sea face wipes. These are cosmetic wipes. They wipe off uh, or remove makeup. It cleanses, turns and moisturizes. It also nourishes the skin. It's got vitamin E and aloe vera. I doubt this is going to fit in there. So I'll put it aside and we'll see what we'll do next. Okay. And um, we've got deep cleansing seaweed mud mask. You know, for that day when you just want to have me time and you just want to rest. And this is one way you can just unwind and have your mud mask on to nourish your skin when you have time for it. Okay. All right. Um, then we've got nail files. There are three of them. Well, this is not going to be a problem. It's definitely going to fit somewhere. Okay, right, and let's bring this closer. Okay, so we've got a fragrance here. It's perfume oil, soft rose. It's a tiny one. It's a miniature one. Okay, so that's going to go in here. Then we've got lipsticks. I just thought I would throw that in there. Uh, well, that's red. The casing is really lovely. It's fancy looking. Look at it. And this is a different shade. Well, it looks reddish as well, but I would call it maroon. Okay, so we'll slot it in here and there okay then i've got nail polish okay it looks maroonish i think a darker shade of maroon okay so that will have to go in like maybe upside down okay i also added nail polish remover pads i thought it would be fair to include it because I've slotted in um, nail polish. Okay, so we've reached that stage where things get tricky and things are becoming real. Can you see? It's literally full to the brim again. And the socks are still outside and we haven't even worked on the chocolates. And oh my gosh, oh my gosh, there's wine. I had included wine. If she likes wine, she would appreciate it. I got sweet red, well, it's not red wine, it's rosé. Actually, it's white Zinfandel. Now, there is no way this is going to fit in here, literally. How are we going to solve this? Wow. I literally overestimated this sock. It really looked large. I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyways, before that, I am going to slot in our candy. I had my candy basket yesterday. It's still here, so from here I'm going to take out the candy cane. I'll get the thin one. And Mentos, remember from yesterday? It's the festive version of it. And our Maltesers, the regular one reindeer and the mint one then we've got our chocolates from Austria this time it's a couple on a carriage okay and we've got a snowman snowman again right okay I think that's about it oh and then we've got Ferrari Ferrero Rocher Okay, that's about it. Let's see how much of this is going to fit in. Okay, right. Okay, so the candy cane is going to go in. There are no two ways about that. And Mentos. Lovely, it's gone in. Okay, not bad, not bad. 
and then we'll squeeze them oh lovely it's gone in and then another chocolate there just find as much space you know you're literally squeezing them in okay and then for our share can just go on the top and then with the Maltesers there we go mm -hmm. the unfortunate thing is I had also included French Ombre artificial nails they're really cute just look at them this would be a lovely gift but from the look of things it's not going to fit I mean where where am I going to put it there's no way okay but then with the socks we'll do what we do, did yesterday because here we've got two pairs of socks so I'm just going to cut this out as painful as it is but there is just no way out of this really okay so ah, oh, this is so lovely they're so soft just look at them these are beautiful socks and I got them from Primark Primark has got really lovely socks for both men and women okay right so this is what i did with the masculine stocking you just squeeze it in there like not squeezing per se but like to like let, let it hang on or hook on like that okay i could even do it on the other side you see so our female recipient is going to get both pairs it's possible because this is thin I mean the socks are thin so they can cling easily whoops okay so the Ferrero, Ferrero Rocher is down I don't know why I'm having difficulty pronouncing Ferrero okay so yeah basically that's it but I'm so disappointed with the wine because it's one of the major things in here I thought it would be important to include wine in here but I don't know where I'm going to put it do you think there's a way okay so what I'll say is the thing that didn't fit in my stocking right now are the wine the face wipes the nail polish remover pads and the French Ombre artificial nails but it's not a train smash oh and the Maltesers oh hang on a minute we have the pen no this will definitely fit in because it's so thin remember the Parker pen pack of two I opened it yesterday and gifted my male recipient with it so here's the female version of it so this will fit in effortlessly here we go there it goes and in it goes okay so this is our Christmas stocking the female version of it I hope this gives you a rough idea of how to pack or to fill a Christmas stocking. Thank you for watching and please like, share, comment and subscribe.